All right, okay. Hello and good morning, everybody. Hi, this is me, Larry Sanchauskas, and this is the Daily Picture International breaking section of our YouTube channel, which you can always subscribe to. So look, um, basically what I wanted to pick up on today, we have the ECB interest rate decision together with the inflation numbers from the Eurozone. So yes, that's something worthwhile to mention. Um, look, I'm going to dig into all that. So before uh, we jump into 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 this basically we need to have a quick read through our risk disclaimer so the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendations and should not be considered as such this material should not be taken as an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product i'll give you a few seconds to read the rest i'm not going to disappear anywhere i'm just going to sit around here and then yeah we can continue um, so yeah, we do have quite an interesting uh, day today, in my opinion. Um, yes, uh, the main focus, of course, uh, will be on the ECB interest rate decision together with the inflation numbers, but uh, all that in just a bit. Uh, before I go any further, as always, just a quick mentioning of our Easy Markets uh, website, which you can always check out for more information about us. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to assist. So now then, um, yes, as I said today, inflation numbers are coming out earlier a little bit than the ECB interest rate decision. But yes, I think uh, both uh, events are going to be quite important. Um, look, the for now, let's start off with the core inflation number, which is expected to decline a little bit from 2.8 to 2.7. Uh, but the headline inflation number is expected to decline even, even more uh, from 2.2 to 1.8. Look, my problem is, and I already stated that when I was covering uh, Canadian inflation, that uh, and uh, I was uh, covering other other inflation numbers of other countries. Look, my problem is that uh, we have a situation right now where the headline inflation is meeting uh, central bank uh, expectations because the the, uh, the targets are set uh, are set at two um, percent. So basically, the headline inflation is hitting that number, is hitting that target, uh, but the core inflation is struggling to go there. Now, what it tells us basically it tells us that um we have a uh, the the headline number is just dropping lower mainly because of the uh, f food and energy prices and mainly actually energy because energy as we know i mean has been on the lower side uh, oil has been on the lower side lately so that's what's helping uh to to bring headline inflation lower however core inflation which kind of uh takes into consideration all other goods and ser goods uh, other goods and services of the country that remains elevated so it kind of remains a bit of a problem and in a way i said that before and i'll say it again that kind of allows the central banks to justify their um their cutting spree their cutting um period this you know rate cutting period and look the ECB today is not going to be an exception. They're going to come out and they are expected to drop their rate by 25 basis points again. Um, and uh, yes, that's expected, expected to go down from 3.65 to 3.4. Um, so yes, of course, let's keep an eye on, let's see how that's going to play out. And uh, my problem with this is that, um, yes, I think that they still want to go and cut rates. I think that they're ignoring the headline inflation right now. They're focused on the core. Um, um, the only problem what I have here is this because euro dollar continues to slide and it is just yes it is just a um, a feast for the bears right now and uh, we're seeing this drifting further south look in my webinars in my live webinars in my morning uh, morning live webinars I talked about this yesterday I, I said I'm targeting this 1.8 1.0870 1 and 1.0850 zones um, perfect uh, perfect touch perfect test amazing now we're resting on the 1.0850 i want to see how it's going to play out today because look the way we could help out uh, the euro here is if let's say for example that the interest rate comes out at uh, yes it comes out with a cut of 25 basis points so that would be a negative for the um, that would be a negative for the euro however in order to protect it from let's say collapsing totally 
I think what Christine Lagarde should say during the press conference is that you know they're um, that they're they're yes they're looking for they they're they're taking into consideration everything uh, they are doing this rate cut but. Um, Further, going further, they will remain data dependent. I mean, we've seen, we've heard this uh, rhetoric before, and I think that this is what they would need to come back to because they would need to say that you know what we want to take a, now a, an, a, a just a, a, a an approach where we're going to stand back, we're going to have a look what's happening. We'll yes, we'll do this rate cut right now, but we'll take a pause and now we'll see what's happening. Then this way maybe the euro could actually recover a little bit and. Uh, could be, I wouldn't say saved, but uh, just give it a little bit of a boost, you know, back up here. So again, that's an idea. Uh, let's see if that's going to happen, unless they're going to say, you know what, we're going to continue cutting. And to be honest, if that's the case, then we could see Euro USD just continuing to drift lower 1.08 becomes the next target for me here um, and the 1.0777 something around here maybe that could be a nice good target as well so long story short uh, this is what I'm gonna be keeping an eye on uh, this is what I'm gonna be looking at and uh, hey um, keep your eyes on the ECB today like I said keep your eyes on the inflation numbers as well um, and my little kind of um, idea here with the inflation number is that if by any chance it ticks up a little bit higher, then we could, see, let's say it comes out higher than the forecast, then we could see a bit of recovery. Actually, first, we could see the recovery here, um, maybe a move back up here. But then the ECB, when the ECB comes in, it comes down uh, to the floor. And when the Christine Lagarde starts talking, um, then if they, for example, decide not to uh, say anything that they will be, you know, data dependent, then they will just continue uh, supporting the market with uh, rate cuts. Then, yes, we could see a nice decline in the uh, in the euro dollar and yeah because that would be a bit of a bearish moment so let's see of course how this is going to play out this uh, we do have an interesting day we do have a very interesting day uh, especially for those who are trading euro uh, related uh, uh, instruments um, also keep your eyes on the German index DAX let me just quickly jump into that one because uh, that one, yes, uh, created a new all-time high this week. And uh, the question is, can we go for another all-time high? So if we do see, um, you know, the cut, we, we do see a cut, and but then we will listen into what Christine Lagarde has to say. In my opinion, the move here to the upside has been already pricing in the fact that we're going to get a cut so I think that uh, I don't really think that we could see something you know like spectacular it's I think it will everything will come down to the fact what they will say during the press conference how uh, hawkish or dovish are they going to be so yes keep your eyes on that ladies and gentlemen I think that that could be quite a uh, an interesting this today will could be quite an interesting day so let's see I think that uh, there's a lot to digest in, but as always, I keep on saying, don't try to uh, do anything before uh, the news. Wait for the news to come out, and then you can do something about it if you're comfortable with it. Because again, at sometimes when we have events like these, uh, it's if you are entering something before beforehand, then uh, yeah, it's a bit of a gamble. It's in a way, it's always a gamble, but. This one's a little bit more of a gamble, so yes. So yeah, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I hope you found this useful. Um, like I said, uh, keep your eyes on the economic data. Um, inflation numbers, um, like I said, are coming out first, and your eurozone inflation numbers are coming out first, and then we'll see um, if uh, if my prediction is going to be uh, correct. If we see a cut, uh, well, we will see a cut most likely, but um, but uh, if uh, Christine Lagarde will say that uh, they're going to uh, you know, take a uh, step back a little bit and uh, remain data dependent, you know. So uh, again, let's see if that's going to play out or not. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe. Have your stop losses in place. Risk only what you can afford to lose. Don't over trade and everything will be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, join me, by the way, join me on my webinars, live webinars every morning, six o'clock GMT time. So yeah, look, thank you very much and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. you <laughs>